We bought eight of the top grill cleaning brushes on Amazon and we're putting them to the test to see which ones can help you spend less time cleaning and more time grilling. We're going to cover the best grill brush to clean dirty grill grates, and we're cleaning off sticky sauces and marinades while answering your grill cleaning questions, so let's meet the contenders for today's challenge. First up is the Grill Art Grill Brush and Scraper, currently priced at just under $20. The Scrub It Grill Cleaning Brush comes in a two-pack at $12.99. The Grill Floss Cleaner comes in at $29.95. The Charbroil Nylon Brush is priced at $19. The Barbecue Aid Grill Brush is next, coming in at $21.99. And the Kawaki Grill Brush and Scraper is priced at $15. And these grill cleaning bricks come in a four pack priced at $13. Last but not least, it's the Grill Rescue Brush priced at $39.95. One of the first things to cover is, can you use these on a hot grill? While most are designed to be used on a hot grill, there are a few that are better at cleaning when the grill is cool. The scrub it is first, since your hand is going to be almost touching the grates when you use it. I wouldn't want to use this on a 500 degree grill and certainly not without heat resistant gloves. The grill cleaning bricks I also would not recommend for a hot grill. Your hands will have to be directly over the flame if the grill is on, and that's just not a good idea. The Charbroil Nylon Brush is also designed to use on a cold grill, since you'll melt the nylon bristles if you use them on a grill that's just too hot. The Grill Rescue Brush is designed to be used on a hot grill, since the recommended use is to soak the head in water and then let the steam do the cleaning for you. This is one that you'll definitely want the grill hot for. Now the rest of the bunch can be used hot or cold, but the spiral brushes do recommend dipping in water when using on a hot grill to add a bit of steam. Not all grill grates are designed the same, so we grabbed a bunch of grills that we have here at the Barbecue Lab to show you which grill brushes work with each type of grates that you might have at home. So we thought it might be good to come out here where we store a lot of the units that we review and show you some of the individual grill grates and the styles and see if these would be good grill cleaners for the types of grates that are in here. So I wanna bring you in here and let's start with the Oklahoma Joe. This is the Oklahoma Joe Rider Deluxe and you can see that we have multiple types of grates going on. We have the straight grates on top, we have some straight grates on the bottom of a different thickness as well as the honeycomb pattern here in, here in the middle. Um, that really renders things like this useless. This needs to be formed to the grates it's gonna clean, and with three different types of grates, this is not a good fit. Now, grill floss, on the other hand, this is one where you can have separate different sizes to go along the grates here, but it's not going to fit down below and in a honeycomb pattern. So this isn't a great fit for this grill either. These are kind of a potential fit for this grill, but I'm not really sure as you get into the honeycomb that this is gonna be a good idea because you're only going one way across it. I don't know that this is gonna be a good cleaner uh, for this grill. So I would consider these not ideal for this grill. Now down below here, you have uh, this one with a nice little textured surface. This one works well as long as the grill is cold. I wouldn't do this when the grill is hot. Um, so that's an option. This one I really like for this purpose because you're talking about nylon bristles that can really get inside and clean. I like that as well as the, uh, the scraper on top. And my favorite for this grill would by far be the Grill Rescue because you're using the power of steam and you can go through and clean all of the grates evenly using this sponge. On the Broil King offset smoker, one of the things that you have going on here is you have an upper rack as well as grill grates that can be used two ways. If you look here, this is the smoke setting where you have the very, very small top of a pyramid where you can see this is the smoke setting. This right here is a grill setting with indentations or channels inside the grill grates. So we're talking about different styles of surface. So you have very small, you have triangular, and then you have concave. This is three different surfaces. So the grill floss, for example, might be great for up here, but it's not probably going to work really, really well down here on these grates. Now, this style of, of brush is going to work pretty well, but if you get in here and you actually try to go in the channel, what you'll notice is that it can't really get into the channel. So as much as I try to get into the channel and clean it with one of these, it just doesn't really work so well. 
So, uh, I mean, these could be potentially okay. I think they're gonna work better here on this triangular section to get the very tops of the grate. So I would say these three are a maybe for this style, this style of grill. Then when you start getting into some of the other options like this nylon brush, if you take this and go inside, you can get all the way inside those channels. And this is doing a much better job of cleaning the inside of the channels than the spiral wound brushes did. Now, the scrub it, for example, is another thing you could look at and say, all right, this can really get down in there. And if you look how well this is doing, cleaning that, the scrub it is a really good fit for concave. I think it also fits well for these triangular sections as well. Then you have the pumice stone uh, brush. This can get in there, but look at all that residue it leaves behind. I mean, it just leaves behind so much residue. You almost have to vacuum clean your grill when you're done before you go cooking on it again. So uh, this one's a tough to recommend. <clears throat> then when you start looking at the one that I think is always a winner, the grill rescue brush, you get in here with some water and go back and forth. You're letting the power of steam really take over. And this is the one that I would wanna have if I was trying to clean these three styles of grates inside of one grill. These are cast iron grill grates. And with these cast iron grill grates, just like any cast iron top that you have on a black stone or you have on any flat top grill, these grates need to be seasoned. So you, these are going to rust unless you keep some kind of seasoning or oil on them to help make sure that they don't get water inside to cause them to rust. But one of the big challenges that we have with these two brushes is that they both recommend using water to clean. This one says dunk the brush in water and then scrub. This one says the same thing, soak it in water, get this sponge completely wet, and then press down, let the steam clean. Well, you can definitely do that with cast iron grates like this, but the challenge is when you're done, you're gonna need to make sure that you coat these grates with oil again, and then let them cook and season a little bit so they don't rust. And that's one of the biggest challenges I think you're gonna have with these type of grates here in using water, is that it's just not great to introduce water to cast iron uh, or this cold rolled steel, whichever it might be in this case. If you introduce water to this environment, it's gonna rust. So you've gotta be very diligent about if you clean with either of these tools, that you come back through, spray it down with some oil, let it continue to heat for another you know, 10, 15 minutes or so to make it so that it's impervious to water. And also, if you have the type of grates that are concave like this, my recommendation whenever you season them is to season them on both sides, but turn them over so it's the triangular side or the pointy side up. That way this will continue to drop all of the grease and things into the bottom and you won't have pooled water or oil in the top. Then we have the Char Griller Grand Champ. This is an offset smoker. And if you look at the type of grill grate we have here, it is a diamond pattern. You have it on the warming rack as well as the rack below. But it's this raised diamond pattern, which is going to be relatively difficult to clean with most grill brushes. Now, for example, if we take the pumice stone and look at this, um, I don't think I even want to try this on here because it's just going to annihilate this pumice stone as we try to clean it. So I wouldn't recommend this for that. The grill floss um, is gonna have a heck of a lot of work to do in between every little grate here. So I don't think this is a good fit for this primarily because of the crisscross pattern. Now, when you start looking at these guys, um, <clears throat> for this one, we'll use the grill art brush. If you start looking at one of these, yeah, not bad to clean this. I think it might work. The thing you have to worry about is the end of the spirals getting caught in the actual grate themselves. If one of these spirals gets caught underneath the grate and gets pulled, this will begin, begin to unravel. And I think something like this kind of a grate is going to unravel this much faster than a straight grate that you might see on most standard grills, like a gas grill or a pellet grill. The charbroil with nylon bristles, this one's gonna be a no-brainer. It absolutely works on this, especially when it's cold. You don't want to melt this when it's hot. So I would recommend this one for this, no problem. The scrub it, I think that's going to work just fine. You're certainly going to tear it up a little bit more as you use it, but this could work for that certainly well. Um, and then my choice for this kind of a grill absolutely would be the grill rescue brush. You get this wet, full of steam, go across there. And even just doing it dry here, I see pieces falling to the bottom of the grill um, no, no problem. So this by far would be my choice to clean this kind of a setup for sure.
This is the Pit Boss Sportsman Pellet Grill, and you'll notice that we have round grates across the top, and we have round grates across the bottom. Now, this is a porcelain coated grate. Since we're talking about a porcelain coated grate, you wanna be careful what you use on it. But for example, we have this section that's dirty here. If we use the spiral uh, round brushes, I mean, it kind of works, but it's not really getting in there and cleaning it. So I, I'm not sure that this is a dynamite fit for this, for this grill, just because I'm having a hard time getting it to clean. Now, another example might be the grill floss. And if you look at the grill floss, this is designed for circular grates or round grates. If we take this and put it around the grate, you can see that we can individually clean each section of the grate. So this, absolutely a good fit for this style of grill. So I would say this one is a winner for, for this kind of a, this kind of a grill setup, as well as uh, the charbroil with the nylon bristles. This one here is going to work great as well. Now I'm for sure getting between the grates with this one because I can see it, how far I'm getting through the grate. So that is a really nice, uh, it's really nice that these will separate and get down between the grates as we're cleaning it. But yeah, this one I would absolutely recommend for this style of grill. The scrub it, if we look at that, Yeah, that cleaned it quite well as you look through here. We really cleaned it nice and nice with the scrub it. I'd say the scrub it's a win. The pumice stone, this is gonna be. Once again, we're just painting pumice stone all over the all over the grate, which is not my favorite thing. Even if I try to blow it off, it still doesn't get all of it off. I, I'm gonna say I don't like that one on this one. And then again, my favorite for this whole entire grill grate system for all of this would be the grill rescue brush. I'm just gonna get in here, press down with steam and look how it just cleans everything off. I mean, that that for me is, is well worth the price of the grill rescue. So these would be my preferred tools to clean something like enamel grates on a pit boss or other type of pellet grill. To further test each of these brushes, we're going to fire up the Grilla Grill Silverback Pellet Grill to a grilling temperature and make a mess. We're grilling some boneless pork chops, and before we put them on the grill, we're going to douse them in barbecue sauce and make as much of a mess as possible on these grill grates. We're going to test them in two flights, with the first being the brushes that clean while hot, and the second flight cleaning a cold grill. I'm sectioning off the grates with tape on the front shelf so I can give even cleaning area to each brush. All right, this is the grill rescue brush. We're gonna start with the scraper and we're gonna see how it does. All right, so the scraper got the tops pretty well but did not get in between the grates. And so now we need to see if we can go ahead and get in between the grates, because you can see the tops turned out okay. In between the grates still needs a little bit of work. All right, so now we use the Grill Rescue Brush in between the grates and on top. So I've got to say, as far as the Grill Rescue Brush goes, I'm really impressed with how well it cleaned these grates. We had quite a mess going on this thing, but those grates are looking pretty dang clean. So really impressed with the Grill Rescue Brush's ability to clean this dirty grate. Now it's time for the grill art. We're gonna start with the scraper. Okay, scraper does pretty well. One of the things that's different about this one is it has the little notches here where we can go ahead and try to put those on the grates. So I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of that. I gotta 
say this works pretty well. It's not uh, as good as the grill floss, but it is a pretty good second to that. Let's go ahead and use the spiral wound side and see how it does. The instructions are to dip it in water, so we're gonna dip it in water first. What I see with the grill art brush is it did a really nice job cleaning, but there's still some stuff that didn't come off on the first couple of passes on these grates. But overall, for the price of this brush, it did a really nice job cleaning. Time for the Barbecue Aid brush. Let's go ahead and start with the scraper. Okay, did pretty well on the top but there's still a lot of gunk to get off, so we're gonna go ahead and try using the notches on the barbecue aid brush. I would say that these notches worked out pretty well, but not as good as the other one in the test. Let's go ahead and dunk the spiral wound and see how it does. The barbecue aid did pretty well, but you can see there are still some spots that didn't get cleaned on the grate. So, not bad. Respectable job, but not as good as some of the others. Last one, this unit, let's try the scraper. Okay. effective notches out of the testing group. Ducking it in water. This last spiral brush is the lowest performer out of the three that we had, primarily because it's leaving a lot of residue behind after using the scraper and the notch and using the actual spiral wound cleaner itself. Okay, next up we have the pumice stone and uh, we're gonna see how this does on a dirty grill rate. And that's what it looks like after running it. The pumice stone will clean, but it's leaving all kinds of residue all over it. I feel like I need to clean it once I've cleaned it just to get the pumice stone off. And in addition to that, I mean, you only get two to three cleanings per stone. So I'm not a huge fan of, of this one. I would say this is probably my, my least favorite. All right, next up, we have the grill floss. And the grill floss, let's see how it does here. As 
far as cleaning grill grates goes, the Grill Floss does an excellent job of getting individual grill grates clean. Now, the thing that's interesting about it, though, is you have to go individual rail by individual rail. So does it take longer? Yeah, probably. Do you get a better clean? I think so. So uh, not hating uh, the grill, the grill floss. The scrub it is up next. As far as cleaning grates go, when it's cold, uh, this thing is magical. This thing cleans it super, super well. Now, the hardest thing that it has to deal with is the stuff right here on the edge. And if you can really scrub back and forth a few times, you can get that. But that's going to be the hardest thing for it to get is this real burned on stuff at the edge. But the rest of it, got this insides of the grill grate, got the top of the grill grate. It, it got all of it. So uh, lots of love for the scrub it right here. We have the charbroil brush up next. Actually, let's try the uh, the scraper first. Okay, scraper does what it's supposed to do and it does a pretty good job cleaning the rails, but we're not getting in between. We still have some stuff burned on. I would say the charbroil does an adequate job of cleaning, but it is by no means a deep clean. There's really nothing going on here that is really cleaning this thing super deep. It'll clean superficially, but it's not giving it a deep clean like you hope to see. Now that the smoke has cleared and the brushes have all been tested, here are my thoughts on which brush is the best for you. The grill cleaning bricks with the pumice stone cleaner is a pass for me. It's too much mess and with only three or so cleans per stone, it's a rather expensive option since you need to buy replacements quite often. Also, the Kawachi grill brush and scraper didn't perform as well as the grill art or barbecue aid brushes, so I'd pass on that one if I was buying again. Now, I like the grill art brush as the winner of the metal bristle free options. While I don't think the spiral wound design works for every grill design out there, the combination of the scraper and the wound cleaner will be good enough for most grillers out there, and you don't have to worry about any metal bristles ending up in your food. The Charbroil Nylon Brush is a pretty good grill brush, but I think it struggles a bit with really stuck on food. The nylon bristles don't give enough resistance for the really hard to scrape off bits, but it's a safe solution for cleaning and does a pretty good job. The Scrub It was the cold cleaning winner for me. It was easy to use and cleaning was fantastic for such a simple design. I found that in the time between running these tests and shooting this final video, I've reached for the Scrub It to clean a cold grill many times. It's a great cleaning solution if you want to clean a cold grill. Now the Grill Floss is truly inventive, and if detailed cleaning is what you want, this is the tool to help you get there as long as you have round bar grates. My favorite grill cleaning tool out of all eight that we tested has to be the Grill Rescue Brush. We've been using the Grill Rescue for about a year now, and it's my favorite way to clean a hot grill. Just dunk it in some water, and the steam does the cleaning for you. I found it to be easy to clean using the Grill Rescue Brush, and it's a quick way to clean the entire grate in between batches of food when we're entertaining. I think the Grill Rescue Brush would make a perfect gift for birthday or Christmas, so if you're looking, here's my recommendation. While we're on the topic of giving gifts, Melissa does a fantastic job curating the best in outdoor cooking on our shop page at thebarbecuelab.com forward slash shop. If you're ever looking for a gift for yourself or a loved one, this is the place to go for everything outdoor cooking. If you're interested in making a purchase of any of the grill brushes and accessories that we used in this video, just check out the description below. We update those links all the time to make sure that you're getting the best price whenever you decide it's time to buy. 
Now we also just opened up an Amazon storefront and if you want to support the channel, you can start there whenever you wanna do some Amazon shopping. Using those links helps keep content just like this coming for you and we thank you for your support. I'm David Gafford with the Barbecue Lab and I can't wait to see you next time.